Welcome to Excel Campus. My name is John, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to keep the drop down arrow for a validation list always visible. So, in this example, I have a simple report here with a few cells that contain list validation or a drop down list. So, basically, you could select any state from this drop down list, and then the report is going to re refresh or update uh, based on some formulas that are linked to this cell. And the problem with this is when you when the user clicks off this cell, that drop down icon next to that cell disappears. So again, if you select the cell that contains the list, the drop down icon appears there. But if you select anywhere off that cell, that list that icon disappears, and then the user doesn't necessarily know that there's a list there for them to select from. So in this video, I'm going to show an example of how to a possible solution of how to keep this drop down list always visible like it is in this cell here, even though I don't have this uh, cell selected. And if you haven't seen it already, Bill Jellin has a great video on this as well with some other possible techniques in his Mr. Excel podcast number 1816. And I'll put a link below this video to that one. So for this solution, I basically have a cell here that contains a Wingdings character. Uh, so you'll see up here on the home tab of the ribbon, I'm using a Wingdings font, Wingdings 3 font. And this cell, it basically contains a Wingdings character, and it's just formatted to look like the drop-down icon. So I put a gray border around the cell, I shaded the background, and then the font color is that gray color to make it look like kind of like a disabled uh, drop down list icon. Then when I click on the cell, the actual drop down list appears over it and you could choose from the list right here. So again, if you click off the cell, then you just see that cell that contains this Wingdings character there. So to insert that Wingdings character, basically just select the cell where you want to put that uh, arrow looking icon in there. Go to the insert tab on the ribbon and then we're going to go over to the symbols menu. I'm going to open symbols here and you can see now on the symbols menu, I want to choose that Wingdings 3 font from the font options. And I'm just going to page down one set of symbols here and we have this character here which is character code 128 and it just looks like that icon for the drop down list there. So all you have to do is insert that in your cell and hit close. And now I've actually inserted two icons there. So I'm going to delete one and hit enter. And you'll now see that that uh, character code has been inserted there. Uh, if you don't want to go to that symbols menu, you can also use the character code Q or just the letter Q. So if I just type the letter Q there, uh, that's going to show that drop down symbol, which looks very similar. Um, the character code 128 is a little more accurate. If you want to get super technical, it looks a little more like the drop down icon there, but you can also use Q as well. Now you'll also notice uh, when I select cell D4 here, this message comes up telling the user to select the cell to the left to activate the drop down menu. So if they're just outside of the cell there and they go and probably accidentally click here to thinking they're going to be able to make a selection, well they really won't be able to make a selection until they select this cell and then activate that drop down list. So to uh, insert this, this is just an input message here also in the data validation. So if you go to the data tab on the ribbon and then go to data validation, you could see here that I have an input message for this specific cell. So this input message is going to show when the cell is selected and this is the message that's going to be uh, displayed and you can edit this if you'd like. So the nice part about this is once you have this created and I'll have a file where you can download this and it'll all be already be created for you, you can just copy it into any workbook or worksheet you'd like. So if I just copy this cell here and then I want to place it up here in cell D2, I'll just hit control C and control V. And now I have my arrow, my fake drop down arrow in cell D2 as well. So now if I just hit escape there, you can see this report looks a little nicer and the user will know that there's drop down arrows there for them or drop down lists for them to select from in these particular cells. One possible drawback to this method is that you do have to have a blank column to the right of the cell that contains your list. So in this example here, I have a table and basically to get this to work, I've done the same applied the same technique, but I had to insert a blank column to the right in my Excel table here and then inserted that Wingdings character there. So that could be one limitation if you have uh, your drop downs, like for this, in this 
in this example, I have my drop down list in column A here in each of these cells, it's just a true or false. Uh, but I also have to have a blank column over here to the right in order to add that wingdings character. And it also has to be a width of, you know, about a little less than two uh, wide or 18 pixels or so. So that could be one possible limitation. But for a report like this, at design time, if you kind of think about your drop down menus and having a blank column to the right of it, you can pretty much figure it out and, and get it to work. So I hope that helped you. Again, uh, check out that Mr. Excel podcast for some other techniques for this. He has some very creative techniques in there. And uh, don't forget to subscribe to my free email newsletter to stay updated with tips and tricks and help you learn Excel. Thanks for watching, and I hope you have a great day.